Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Fido. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in a parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Now, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Easy, you're gonna get us killed. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. Eh. Okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. 
Were Clementi and Benchy planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the camp. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See you. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta. Go 
Possible Grand Theft Auto. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. 
The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Guido, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Guido. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. This one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay, Vito. Now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You uh gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You don't have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. And what did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One day, <coughs> Carlo wants me dead, and staying around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. <coughs> All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Right Enjoy your vacation, old man. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, what? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does 
He hit you. Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey, when you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? I'm gonna have to give you a fine for this. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Where's Eric? Eric's in the kitchen, hun. But I think he's busy now. <laughs> you think you're doing i'm busy here okay get lost i think you should be busy taking care of your wife asshole i'll teach you to hit a woman Consider this a warning. If you touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home. Stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever! One, two, unless you three, want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you, got it?
Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just just stay away. <laughs> Watch the place! Do it! No! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Watch the place! Do it! No! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck!
Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you're barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's Joe. Oh, great. Yeah, I know, I a know. Fucking but clown I need a favor. Bunch of mixed you better get any worse. Point this house down. Well, the bed's not too bad. Explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Get in. All right. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax. We'll be there in a minute. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. <coughs> what the fuck are you doing? Hey, come on and drive, all right? like my fucking grandma, do you know that? Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. 
the coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. It's fucking all <laughs> of you! Move it! <laughs> I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. more of them in the car. That takes care of them. Stupid fucks. I have a Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Copy that. Yeah, but it don't get in my house. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. You're fucking dead! Suspect is about 65. I told you. I, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Back me up, you know. You're fucking dead! Don't shoot like my sister! What did I do? Fuck this. Shut me. Let's go! Tap, tap! Don't want to get on your bad side. I'm the best. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. You drive. Stupid fucks. Have a Caucasian male oh, carrying a large firearm. Yeah, but don't give me my house back. Copy that. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, sure as I hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Oh, yeah. What we did back there doesn't even start to make it. Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those are my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. A fucking wolf rat with no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. 
Glass is always fucking half full. For isn't Empire it? Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. And boy, do I got a bone in my teeth. I got a message here to all you square parents. Slow the out fuck there. down before you get Lay pulled off. off the kids, will what? you moms and dads? Because apparently there are some power groups out there who I guess just sit around you their want every cop in a fucking city to come ask them to see how cookie they can be Take about it easy, teenagers please. who feel like their kids should be seen and not heard. Well, I, Rockin' Ricky Fox for one, would not have a job if that were the case. I make my living on it. So get on the stick, mommy and daddy -o. The kids are our future. And if these kids aren't heard, then the future. Okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. scene of gunshots and chaos. Now, if you're a regular at the Hill of Terra Pop, uh, kids, I'd start scoping out a new watering hole. Yeah, because this one has been shut down. To what a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. <laughs> 